Driving in Iceland can be a unique and rewarding experience, but it also requires some preparation and knowledge of local conditions. I have driven 10 days in July 2021 and again 5 days in December 2023. So I have got a fair idea about what great driving conditions can there be in summer as well as quite tricky and challenging conditions in winter. But I can vouch for the fact that if you are not driving in your Iceland trip, you will miss a lot. So in this episode, I bring to you 10 tips for driving in Iceland. Like most other European countries, Iceland also drive on the right side of the road. So the car is a left hand drive. Car rental. Airport car rentals are usually costlier. Booking early online can save you money. A free shuttle bus from airport can drop you off to your selected rental company and you can go and pick up your selected car. Carefully read the rental agreement so that there's no nasty surprise. I prefer booking a zero excess insurance which gives peace of mind as things can happen. Please opt for a 4G Wi-Fi which keeps you connected seamlessly and Google Maps are always live. Road Conditions Icelandic roads can vary greatly in quality from well-maintained highway to gravel tracks in more remote areas. Be prepared for different road surfaces and conditions especially if you are planning to explore beyond the main tourist routes. Always check road.is especially in winter so that you can take necessary precautions. Weather Iceland's weather can be unpredictable and change, can change very rapidly. Be prepared for rain, snow, high winds and fog all within an hour, especially if you are traveling in winter months. Check the weather forecast regularly at weather.is and adjust your plans accordingly. Do you need a four-wheel drive? If you plan to explore the more remote parts of Iceland, especially in the interior highlands, consider renting a four-wheel drive vehicle. Many of the gravel roads in these areas require four-wheel drive for safe passage. In summer, front-wheel drive cars should be enough, but for winter, I would personally recommend a four-wheel drive, which I did take. Driving speeds. Observe the speed limits which are strictly enforced in Iceland. On paved roads, the speed limit is usually 90 km per hour, which is 56 miles per hour outside urban areas and 50 km per hour that is 31 miles per hour within urban areas. On gravel roads, the speed limit is usually 80 km per hour. Maintain speed limits as speed tickets can be costly even up to 1000 US dollars. In Iceland, you will come across something called F roads. F roads are mountain roads in the highlands, often requiring a four wheel drive vehicle. These roads are typically only open during summer months and can be challenging to navigate. Check the road conditions and river crossings before attempting to drive on F roads. Safety and wildlife. Always wear your seat belt and always have the headlights of your car on and obviously do not drink and drive. Be aware of wildlife, especially sheep, which are often found roaming freely on the Icelandic roads. Drive cautiously, especially at dusk and dawn when the animals are more active. Coming to a very important point now, gas stations. Gas stations can be scarce in rural areas, so plan your refueling stops accordingly, especially if you are traveling long distances. It's a good idea to keep your fuel tank at least half full when driving in remote areas, so keep topping up. Road signs. Make yourself familiar with Icelandic road signs and traffic rules before setting out. Many signs are similar to those used in other European countries, but some of them are unique to Iceland. Emergency services. In case of any emergency, dial 112 for police, fire or medical assistance. One bonus tip, rather a request. Iceland is extremely beautiful and while driving, in every 10 to 15 minutes, you will feel like pulling off your car and taking photos. Please don't do that. Icelandic Ring Road is a relatively narrow two-lane road with mostly no parking spaces. So, it's unsafe to stop and take photos, not only for yourself but also for the oncoming vehicles. By following all these tips and exercising caution, you can enjoy the freedom and beauty of exploring Iceland by car safely. So. Keep exploring. 
If you think this video was useful to help you decide whether or not to drive in Iceland, please press that like button and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section. I'll also put the links to my Iceland videos in the description box if you'd like to check them out. Please also consider subscribing and press the bell icon to keep watching more videos like this. Thanks for watching.